Hi, and welcome to another tutorial from the City of Glasgow College Essential Skills Team. Today I'm going to take you through the creation of a simple database using Microsoft Access. Starting off, we need to load the software. There are two or three ways you can do this. The most common way is using the Start menu. Sometimes it will be pinned to the main point in the Start menu and you can select it from here. Microsoft Access, I'm using the 2010 version. Alternatively, you can go into My Programs, or All Programs, sorry, Microsoft Office, and then you'll see here, Microsoft Access 2010. But I'd like to show you another way, using Quick Keys. If I hold down the Windows key and press R, it brings up the Run Box, and in the Run Box I can type MS Access, hit Return, click OK, and it launches the software that way. So there's three ways you can find the software. Access asks you what kind of database do you want to create and it will give you a lot of templates that you can use but today I'm going to take you through creating a database from scratch on your own. Microsoft Access works differently from other Office packages. Other Office packages ask you to save your files or you'll lose your work if the machine crashes or you forget to save it you'll lose your work. Microsoft Access always reads and writes to and from the database as you're entering data so it asks you to give the file a name and tell it where you're saving it before you start creating the database. So over here on the right hand side I'm going to give this database a name. I'm going to create a simple address book just like the contacts in your mobile phone. Underneath it says U Documents. This is the drive, the U drive and the folder it's going to save it in. I don't want to save it there. So this little yellow folder icon, if I click on that, it'll ask me where do you want to save it. For the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to save it on the desktop. You may want to save it in your home folder or your student network folder. My network folder is called Malderson, which is my name. Yours will probably start with the number 3. It will be your student number or the letter M, some account to start with. But I'm going to save it on the desktop. So now I've got the file name, address book. I'm saving it as a Microsoft Access database and I'm saving it on the desktop. And you'll see here, it's given it a name and now it's saving it on the desktop. I can now click the create button. I'm creating a blank database. Create. Straight away access has put me into what we call data sheet view and I can create the, the database table from here. I'm going to design this database in design view. So top left hand corner we'll get this view menu and we've got data sheet view which we're in at the minute and I'm going to select design view. As soon as I select Design View, it wants me to give the table a name. This database is only going to have one table in it. So Table 1 is a good enough name for me. I'm not going to change that. This is where we design the makeup of the database. Now a database is made up from fields. That's the smallest part. Fields make up records, which is one line in a database. And a table is made up of records. So fields make records, records make tables. Microsoft Access has given me a primary key field here. I can switch that off and on. You'll see this little key here disappearing as I hit the primary key field. A primary key is a unique identifier for every record that you have in your database. Let's say you've got an address book with two people with the same name. Well, this wouldn't be allowed under a primary key. It needs an, a unique identifier. For this database, I'm going to leave primary key on auto number. And all that's going to do is give, it's going to number your records, one, two, three, so on, as you enter them into the database. So I'm going to leave ID as auto number. Now what kind of fields do we have in an address book where we have phone name? This is the field name, phone name. Now the type of data that it is, if I select here I've got a drop down box and there's loads of different data types. Text is alphanumeric, that allows you the characters 0 through 9 and alphabet upper and lower casing. A memo, as you can attach a memo to a field. A number speaks for itself, a numerical field. Date and time, again, speaks for itself. Currency, if you're dealing with money. Auto number, which is one we're using, just add to number every time. Yes and no comes up with a checkbox. OLE, I think, is object link and embedding. It is embedding something from a web page. Hyperlink is a web address. You can attach a document or an image file to a field. A calculated field, which is made up from other data. And the lookup wizard, which I've not used yet, so I won't comment on. Phone name is straightforward text. 
and also we should have surname which is also data type text then we'll have address 1 text address 2 for oh, my spelling address 2 which will also be text phone number now I'm going to leave phone number also as text Microsoft Access to save space drops the first zero if I was to put in 0141 for Glasgow code it would drop the zero and leave 141 because as a number 0141 is the same as 141 so text is alphanumeric that's why I'm putting text in as the phone number and finally so we can use a different kind of data type I'm going to put in the person's age which will be a numerical field so this is the design up of one record in the database I have one two three four five six seven fields which make up a record over here in the description if there's other people going to be working on a database or you're creating a database where the field names are not meaningful they don't actually describe the data that's in the field then we would put a description of what this field's job is or what kind of data this field holds in the description box but these field names they speak for themselves they're pretty meaningful so I'm not going to bother putting descriptions in here once I've created these field names and data types, I can then go back to View and select Data Sheet View. Would you first like to save the table? Like I said earlier, Microsoft Access is always reading from and writing to the database file. So yes, I want to save it now. And as you can see now, I've got one blank record ready to add in data. So if I put in a name, I'm using the Tab key the tab between the fields here to go across the way. And I'll just make this up age 21. When I press return, you see it automatically comes down to the new. And if I was to start putting in another record, oops full name and surname in separate boxes. This is two records in. I'm not going to carry on filling this table with records. This is just a small tutorial to create a simple database. There will be further tutorials after this, querying this database, which is searching for records and extracting certain information, and also creating reports from this database. So please look out for a further tutorial on database from the City of Passport College Essential Skills team. Thanks for listening. I hope this has been of help. Bye.